Yes, welcome back to the second stanza of the program, the conversation on TV360 coming to you live from the studio here in Lagos, Nigeria. Yes, Peter, the, on this stanza of the program, we're going to look at um, uh, first subsidy removal palliatives. We have seen um, the federal government uh, in, the, in the presidential address by Mr. President on October 4th, where he promised that uh, they were going to put in place you know, the provisions of uh, CNG buses. We have also seen uh, the palliatives that have been given to the states. States have been, the announcement was about 5 billion naira. State governors, uh, state governors are going to, they've told us they got 2 billion. And uh, we have seen even local governments uh, do distribution. So f I want to ask, how do we ensure that these palliatives go around uh, and it you know, gets to the targeted beneficiaries? Uh, because in the past, we have heard all sorts of stories. Even though some, some persons have even continued to harp on fake stories that you know, cannot be substantiated. So I want to ask that these palliatives that you know, the federal government has given to the states, how far are the states faring in the description of these palliatives? For example, I've seen you know, uh, video footages, pictorial footages of the description of the palliatives in a, a state like Borno State, where the governor has you know, put in place buses as well as uh, giving siblings to farmers and what have you. But in a large chunk of the states, it's like nothing is happening. Or is it that we are not the ones getting the right information from those sources? Because for us to be able to talk you know, authoritatively on these things, we need this information. How do we ensure that the people themselves speak up and monitor these processes such that they are not shortchanged? Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how we will make sure that the people speak up and monitor the process. Uh, but when the federal government rolled out the palliatives and directed them to the states for onward distribution to the target audience, so that I don't know who are the target the audience. Yeah. They are the target beneficiaries. The, 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 the supposition is that we are working in a federal system. We are issues devolve from the center to the confederating to the units. Now, um, how each state now goes about to distribute its palliative is left for the state. We may not even uh, find it very easy to determine how each state does that. Like you said, it's about creating awareness among the citizenry. See, monitor the process and feedback so that we know whether you got it or not. But let us agree the process is still ongoing. Um, and it is, but as, let, us, let it not detract from the fact that palliatives are still temporary very measures. little insignificant they are, measures. They are, they are even because all measures. those palliatives to reach 200 million No, it can only, no. I'm coming. You see, the whole thing is about, like I said, there is no clear definition of the target beneficiaries. No, we, no it's not yeah. about the target beneficiaries uh, now. It's about what do we have on ground. We have 500 bags of rice. Mm. We want to split these 500 bags of rice to, say, 50,000. Mm. You know, the 500 bags of rice mm. is 50, 50 kg. Mm. Maybe we want to split it to 5, 5, uh, 5, 5 kg. Mm. The, whoever the uh, beneficiaries get to. Because it is impossible. Uh, those things are still like little water. No, it is. No, you know, drops you know, of water in no, the ocean. You know, you know Peter, uh, you, you and I know very well. Mm. That what, if we say something is palliative, mm. it's a temporary cushioning measure. Good. Yes, it's not. The permanent solution that we are looking for yeah. are CNG buses. We, you know, we, the world is moving from fossil fuel, greenhouse uh, gas you know, in the atmosphere to cleaner energy. Yes. So it is important for us to ensure that the mechanism mm. that we put in place measures that will allow us to live uh, a livable life, a uh, 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 quality life, mm -hmm. is put in place. Also, I, over the weekend, some persons were saying the federal government should monitor the states. I now said no. Mm -hmm. 
The federal government does not have any rights to monitor any state because the palliatives that the states have gotten is what rightly belongs to them. Because the palliatives is the palliative funds is gotten from the uh, resources that is being pulled together as a result of uh, the blockage in the system. So whatever any state gets, it is the responsibility of the state house of assembly and the citizenry to do their job. Nobody should expect Agreed. because we must make people understand that. We operate a federal system of government. Agreed, agreed. The whole thing there is this, as I said, it is ongoing. Each state have uh, using the model they feed is best and be doing that. Yeah. Uh, and to get feedback, you know, it may be difficult to get the feedback. Or let's say the, what we get are snippets of information. This governor is doing this, this governor is not doing this or this and that. Let the emphasis be on the permanent solutions we are talking about. Permanent solutions like you say, CNG buses to ease off transportation, how far reaching can it go? How can we ensure that it achieves the desired uh, impact, you know, in trying to maybe ameliorate transport difficulties that arose from this fuel subsidy thing? But the most important thing is about how far, how, how will the citizenry be able to afford what to eat and drink? You mm. know, within the addition, comfortably, within a specified period of time. Or let me say, a little period of time. By then, we would have talked of having permanent solutions to the effects of the fuel subsidy thing. Every other thing done without looking at that level. Because it strikes at the most basic need of a human being to feed. Clot. Let it even leave clotting to feed. So, the, uh, the, 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 how do people now get access to what to eat? That is the palliatives that is longer lasting and which will benefit everybody at the end of the day. It may not even need the monitoring of anybody. It may be about the policy is working. And because of that, people are easy, uh, men, assessing things to eat, transport themselves easily. And you find out that the rate, the, the, the level of um, dislocation we have in the system will drop if people feed, if people transport themselves easily from one place to the other. And uh, the other domino effects of the fuel subsidy removal will be we drop down. That is my own decision. Well, I, I think um, uh, looking at uh, a permanent solution will also involve us looking at uh, how far we have invested in the agricultural sector. Definitely. Because, there is about, um, it's about, like we said, the food people eat. Yes. Yeah, because that, I uh, should believe that by now the government should weigh in seriously into agriculture. We heard of the Commodity Exchange Board. By now, I think it should be up and running. We heard because the, community, the idea of the Commodity Exchange Board is about buy food bulk from the, from the, uh, primary, from the primary source. source and then make it uh, available. easily available to the p p consumers. Uh, well, okay. Some of those things should be rolling, should start rolling by now. That's I, my feeling. I, I think in another episode of this program, we will bring in you know, some farmers to come and tell us their experience so that we rub minds together and see how we can address our agricultural shortcomings, you know, as they affect them because they are the ones wearing the shoe. So sure, they know sure. where it pinches better than any one of us. Yeah. So it is all, thank you very much, Peter, for coming on to the program today. Thank you. So, well, thank you, viewers, for staying tuned to the conversation on TV360 coming to you live from Lagos. Uh, we've had, a, we've enjoyed ourselves. We have had a robust engagement on, the, on this episode of the program. Till we come your way again on another episode of the program, please, you know, stay safe and continue to watch the conversation on TV 360. Thank you. Bye-bye.